guys and welcome to my channel and this video I was thinking today we could do some poppy little cute little poppy flower and I did made a sketch for you so you can download it from my website and the link you can find down in the description box so maybe before starting to paint this check that out download yourself a sketch but if you're in a mood to draw it yourself, of course, just do it. And I think we should all improve our drawing skills and draw as often as possible. So why not? As you could have probably noticed, I started my painting with pre-wetting the paper and I pre-wetted just the upper petal of the poppy and not really entire paper. And I'm using the mix of cadmium red light and a little bit of cadmium yellow medium to well to paint my first petal and you can see I'm not really trying to make it quite saturated or anything like that I'm just trying to make it a little bit light and just in the middle part of the petal where the center of my flower is going to be I'm adding a little bit more pigment and you know, if you don't have the same colors as I do, instead of cadmium yellow medium, you can use any warmer yellow. And instead of cadmium red light, you can use any warmer red. Poppies are sort of see-through color and a bit orangey. So the color that I will be using is that orangey color. And you don't have to do, if you have some orange that you like, you don't have to mix your colors, reds and yellows. Just use the orange you have and the yellow for the parts where I'm using yellow and maybe that red, dark red for the parts where it should be a little bit darker, a little bit more reddish. Next thing, I moved on to my lower petal, but as my first petal, dry completely because I don't want the colors to bleed one into another. So I left my upper petal to dry completely and then I moved on to my lower petal. And as you can see this one, I am painting a little bit more darker, but not really that much. It won't end up to be so dark. So just keep that in mind. And this one is partly in the shadow. So that is the reason why it's a little bit darker. You can also notice that I'm using a large round brush and I do advise you to use a larger brush as you can, as you feel comfortable with, because you know, using a larger brush makes your painting and well, makes it a little bit looser. So <laughs> lately I am trying to use larger brushes because you know, I'm always hung up on details when painting and I, I really do want to let the watercolors be watercolors. So I'm trying to use a larger brush. It can hold also a bit more water. And since it can hold a bit more water, it also makes your painting a little bit more transparent, translucent. And I think that that lightness and airiness is the point of watercolors. And after my second petal, I moved on to my third petal, as you can see. And I also left the second petal to dry completely because again, I don't want the colors to bleed one into each other. So you can just dry it with your hair dryer. And if you have patience, you can leave it to dry naturally. I do use hair dryer most of the time. I'm not really a patient person. So I did uh, dry it with a hair dryer. And you can of course do that also. And this petal will be a bit even more darker and a bit more saturated again than the second petal because this one is on top and it's going over those two, the upper petal and lower petal and it gets a little bit more transparent and gets a little bit more darker. So I'm all the time using just those two colors for now, just cadmium red light and cadmium yellow medium. and as I, as I was saying, I'm using a larger brush for this one, since this is a little bit smaller petal, I did choose a little bit smaller brush, but still it is a pretty large brush. This one is I think number eight. And the one that I was using before was number 12. Right now I added a little bit of neutral black to my cadmium red light to get that 
a little bit darker color but you can also use a complementary color to the one you're using and that is also the way to get a little bit darker shade of the color you are using and since the my third and fourth petal aren't touching I can move right on move to the fourth petal and this one I will paint in the same way as the third one since there are positioned in same place or on the top of my previous two petals and that is the reason also why I'm painting the lower part of those petals a little bit darker and upper part a little bit lighter because upper part is just going over one petal and the lower part is actually going over two petals so that is as I said reason why that part is a little bit darker When the paint completely dry, I will be using a script brush to add some veins to my poppy and well you can use any round brush with a pointed tip, maybe a detail brush if you have a detail brush, just any brush you like to use for some details, for some line work you can use here. And as I said, I'm, I'm not also again going overboard with those lines with those veins just adding a couple of them and again not trying to make them stand out very much but i'm using it in a slight wash i'm using it with just a little bit pigment and more water to make them visible but not to stand out those veins will make our poppy look a little bit more believable a little bit more realistic even though I don't think this is a really realistic painting but just some fun coloring I would say and right now I'm just smudging those lines a little bit to make them even more smoother and to make them blend more into the background of the petals. Some of you might want your flower to be more transparent and the petals to be more transparent so if that is the case just use a little bit less pigment and a little bit more water to it and you will get lighter petals after all the paint on the petals dried i'm using a little bit of neutral black to paint in the center of the flower and then i'm just taking out the paint from it into my petals and just making those parts of the petals where they are going into the center of the flower a little bit darker and I'm not really smoothing those lines out too much but just making them look like they are spreading from the center of the flowers. Again, I'm using a script brush to add some stems, seeds going from the top of the center of the poppy and then with a detail brush I'm just tapping in the seeds around that center. For the stem I'm using a mix of green and neutral black because I do want that stem to be a bit darker so those are the colors I'm using and you can use just any little bit darker green and some maybe black if your green is not too dark and with a mix of cadmium yellow medium and cadmium red light I'm adding a background because you know when I finished my flower I just thought to myself I would really like to have some background I, I wouldn't like to leave it completely white so I'm just adding a light wash and I did not pre-wet my paper I just added it with a larger brush and I did not put a lot of pigment in it but just a lot more water and right now I sprinkled some paint on the top of that while the background was still wet so the paint would bloom 
and then after it when it completely dried I sprinkled some more of that and with those couple of less details I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. Thank you guys a lot for watching, for sticking until the end and if you like this video please hit the like button and share it, comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you do not miss any of my future videos and without further ado i hope i'll see you next time bye